Hi guys, I wanted to tell you how we trained our dog to be sweet to our baby chicks. So our dog was very well trained to voice commands, meaning we could tell him to sit, we could tell him to stay, we could also say leave it. That was a very important command. But he had never met a chicken. He had never really been around cats other than he didn't like cats. He also was pretty aggressive toward other dogs, So, and he loved to chase squirrels. So we knew this was a dog that maybe was going to be kind of tricky to train on this. So what we did was we kept the little baby chicks in the cage for the first, say, week. They were in their little cage, and Shadow was allowed to look through the top. We had just a wire mesh over the top. He was not allowed to put his head down in it, and he shook, and he kind of whined, and he seemed in a lot of distress the whole time. He, as they darted around, there were only two of them at first, he would really pant and feel, look like he was very stressed out. Flash forward another week and we had six more chickens. Now we have eight chickens in this little cage. And he was getting used to it. He was starting to feel, he looked like he wasn't all totally stressed out at that point. So by the time they were about a week old, we were allowing the chicks to run around Shadow outside of the cage in a little screened area. And I had him in a death grip with my hand around his collar. I, I kneeled down next to him and I would say, oh, look at the sweet little baby chickens. Look at your little babies. They're so sweet. And I would talk and act like everything's great and make, you know, the same sounds he gets when he's around a little baby infant, frankly, and to let him know everything's happy. And he shook and sh was stressed out. I would do it for about an hour and then I would give him a break for another two hours and then I would do it again for a half hour and then give him another break. And after a while, he got to where he wasn't totally stressed out. He was starting to actually get a little bored with it. So he would then lay down and I would let him lay down and the chickens would jump, run all over him. Now, his mouth, he could not get anywhere near them with his mouth. I wouldn't let the baby chicks get near his mouth either. And they would want to run right up to him. Now, it's important that you do this with baby chicks. Adult chickens, I don't think this would work because they are they have different mannerisms. Baby chicks will basically eat, drink, and run around. They're not. There's no pecking order established. They're not going to try to peck him or anything that might stress him out. Um, and also, they are all... If they're not used to being around dogs, then they would be all upset and stressed out. So I would only try this method with baby chicks. Uh, the next thing we did was over a little bit more time, I would allow him off leash. Actually, I had him on the leash for quite a long time. The leash was attached to him. But it, I would have him just laying around. The chickens, would, some of them would jump on his back. I would constantly give him reassurance that that's okay. It's and you know, talk sweetly to the doggy. Shadow, it's fine. It's no big deal. Look at the little baby chickies. Oh my gosh, how pretty little baby chickie. Come here, baby chickie. Are those your babies? I would say things like that. And it actually does soothe the dog and work. So the next portion of, now during all this time, I never had a video camera in my hand or a phone to take video of it because frankly, I had them in a death grip or on a tight leash, a very short leash, because I did the first time he eats a baby, it's pretty much over. I didn't want him getting an idea that, wow, this is chicken. I like to eat this. So once you have your dog to where they're comfortable enough that you feel like you can have them off leash, you're going to want to be about three feet away from them at most. The chickens do dart around. Now they see him almost like a parent. They'll jump on top of their back. They'll peck at they pecked at his penis a couple of times. They tried to peck at his eye. And of course, he's like freaking out when that happens. So you have to be like right there as those kind of things happen and let him know that it's okay. Here's one just standing on his back, not even giving any thought of uh, this might be odd. They would get on his back and scratch looking for bugs. He got used to it really quick, but I needed to constantly reassure him that it's okay. At times during these videos that you're going to see in a minute, I would tell Shadow to, I would tell him to sit. And the reason I did that is that it gets his mouth away from them. It gets him higher up, so less likely to snap. Here's some of that video. Good boy, Shadow. 
Good boy. Look at you babysitting your chickies. The chicks have no fear of shadow. And he's not scared of them anymore either. He used to shake when he was first introduced to them and while they were in their cage for about two weeks. And then after two weeks, they were out and he was out and he could sniff them. One time he did kind of try to squish one in my hand to make it squeak and it did squeak just like a baby, what, like one of his stuffies. So um, at this point, for the last three days, he's been able to just be completely off leash around them. I remind him to be sweet, be sweet. And he is sweet. He hasn't tried to bite them or snap at them or anything. He's just so intent. They're like complete entertainment for him. Sometimes he gets a little bit startled if they um, like jump in his face, jump on his back, scratch on his back looking for bugs, which he has no bugs. Um, in that case, he, oh, so sweet. And I just remind him to be sweet and give him lots of reassurance and positive feedback for being sweet. And he just wants to hang out with him. It's cute. Show your chickies. Where are your chickies at? There they are. Oh, let's go with you chickies. Come on. Be sweet. In this video, I've told Shadow to stay so that he won't be um, walking away or moving around too much. Shadow, sit. Shadow, sit. He was a little passive aggressive there, not sitting right away, but I wanted him to sit so that his mouth was not so close to the babies. Shadow, sit. You watching your chicks? Are you the big brother? You being extra sweet to your babies? Oh, that's a good big brother. Good boy, Shadow. Good boy. So good. Now in the last clip, you could see Shadow's tail was tucked so you know he was still strapped. That's why I'm watching him closely. Here Shadow sits down on his own and that shows less stress and anxiety because he's willing to put himself in a more vulnerable position. At this point, I still don't allow Shadow to be by himself with the chickens because look at how intent he is on them. He's still feeling some anxiety. I can tell just by looking at his body language. Only when he's willing to lay down and kind of ignore them did I ever let him be alone with the chickens without me maybe two or three feet apart. Uh-uh, don't eat that. Good boy.
In those videos, Shadow wasn't stressed out so much. I was the one that was super stressed out. It was terrorizing to watch my dog be off leash that close to these chickens. But you know what? You, if you can trust your dog to do the right thing, and, and if you're very close by and can yell, leave it, then you should be safe. Shadow loves his baby chicks. Usually his head is an inch from the chicks because he's so excited to see them. Look at those babies, Shadow. You love your babies? Oh, I love those little babies. Those are happy little babies. Shadow is a very diligent parent. Oh, I see one of your babies trying to get out. So the video just then with the meat birds, those were um, birds that were two years later after he was used to being around adult chickens, but it was his first time being with babies again. So this is the adult meat birds, and I had Shadow, he's kind of in the foreground here. I had him babysitting them all the time. He, he was always super well behaved with them after that first bit of training. I, I've never had any problem out of him, except at times he will try to chase a squirrel. And if the chickens are in his way, he will, they'll scatter, believe me, but it, they'll, I'm afraid he would mow them down if he had to. So now when he has little baby chicks, he, they can just get right underneath him and he just thinks he's the parent. He loves them and the chickens love him. They see, they don't see danger from him at all. Um, the biggest and most important thing I can tell you in training your dog is go at your dog's pace. If your dog is still shivering, shaking, whining, or doing whatever your dog does when it's stressed out, that means you're moving too fast. And repetition is key. So for every stage, when the dogs, when the chicks are in the box, until your dog seems perfectly comfortable, don't move on to the next step. Once your dog's on leash, but you have him in practically a chokehold holding on to his collar and he's and he can get right next to the chickens because they're just babies. They'll practically jump right in his mouth. They'll snuggle up under their necks. You need to make sure that until your dog acts perfectly calm and comfortable around them where he'll put his back to them even or just lay down and go to sleep then you know you can move on to the next step where he's off leash. So I, I wish you guys the best with your journey, training your dog to love your, the baby chicks. It is so nice to be able to just let him run around in the yard with them. He really is a great babysitter. He wants to make sure they're safe. And I think he's a super deterrent against hawks and other predators having a dog standing right there, even when you're standing there. Because I've had hawks try to dive bomb us, and if my dog is standing there, that never happens. Well, I wish you luck in your journey with your puppy dog, learning to train him or her, and I'll see you next time. Thanks a bunch. Bye.